<laughs> hey there, are you tired of beating the meat? Not being able to slay the dragon? You know what I'm talking about. Are you tired of not being able to stop your habit of watching porn or of uh, masturbating? In this episode, I'm going to share with you exactly how to stop that. I'm going to give you the basic formula, then I'm going to give you specific content of what actually to do to stop this habit. Because I know for a lot of you guys, watching porn, it just drains your energy. It drains it. And you spend time, you might judge yourself for it. And it's just this habit of shame and judgment with this habit that physiologically drains your energy, but also emotionally drains your energy because of all the shame you feel. Okay, so here's how to get over it. I'm going to share with you here. Now, before we get into it, if you vibe with this channel, subscribe. If you like the video, like it. That's all I ask. I'm thinking about you guys and posting this content for free. And so um, if you vibe with it, if it helps you, if it makes your life better in any way, shape or form, all I ask is that you help me out in return and like it or share it with a friend or something like that. Cool. Let's hop right into it. So first things first, you know, what is the cycle for you? You know, what cycle are you in? How does this make you feel? Are you in that cycle where you jerk off, you tell yourself you're not going to, but then, ah, oh, fuck it. You kind of just do it. You're like, fuck it. I'm just going to do it. And then immediately right after you come, you feel guilty or right after you come, you feel like this drain or just low energy in your head or something. You're just, ah, if you feel that that's totally normal because in this cycle of watching porn, that's exactly what happens. So, so many guys, when they're in this cycle, it's a cycle of this low energy kind of feeling and then wanting to escape that low feeling or emotion with a nice pleasure of jerking off. And then they jerk off and they feel even lower. And then, you know, a few hours later, they might do it again to get themselves back up. And then, whew. so this is like the cycle of addiction. And I used to have an eating addiction. I never had a porn addiction, but I used to have an eating addiction where it was some pleasure in the moment, some pleasurable food to escape this low feeling that I had. And it was just this, this cycle. So that's really what it is. And if you want to solve it, I'm going to give you three steps. So the first thing you have to do to solve this problem is you have to decide and commit to solve it. It might sound simple, but think about it. You have to make a decision like I'm committed to doing this. I'm going to do this because oftentimes if we have enough failure in the past, like maybe you've tried to stop porn in the past, you've tried to stop jerking off in the past and it, it just didn't work. <clears throat> I'm smiling because I, I feel like it's so funny that I keep fucking jerking off the air here. <laughs> uh, but. But that's what you really have to do is you have to commit. You have to make a decision. And what I invite you to commit to is a 30 day challenge of no fap or no porn. You decide right after this video, I've had enough. I'm done. I'm going to challenge myself. I'm going to push myself. And if you can't do no porn, or no, no fap completely, then just do no porn. But whatever you can actually commit to. And if you can't do 30 days, then pick seven days, you know, and then stretch to 14, then 21, then 30 days eventually. But make a commitment. Decide like you're going to find a way to do this because if you don't make that decision, Trust me, your physiology probably loves all of this uh, in the sense of it's very pleasurable. It gives you, you know, your dopamine receptors go off. But by the way, your dopamine receptors, I was studying this the other day, they actually decrease because as you watch enough porn, your dopamine is firing off at way too fast of a rate. You're getting too much pleasure too often. And so because your body wants to come back to balance, your dopamine receptors actually start to die off. And so you have less dopamine receptors, which means when you're not jerking off in just normal everyday life, it's harder to be happy because you don't have enough as much dopamine as you would. Okay. So that's a problem. You know, you don't want that. So that's step number one. You have to decide you have to commit and try, try the challenge I recommend. The second step is you have to break the pattern because you're going to commit to a 30 day challenge, but then, you know, day two, day three, day 15, day 20, the old pattern is going to want to come back. You're going to have a strong urge to jerk off and that's normal. Just like quitting anything, there's usually a strong urge that comes. You quit smoking, anyone who's done that, you know that there's that strong urge you have to overcome. So when it comes up, here's what you do. You break the pattern immediately when you feel the urge. You know what you do? Jump up and down and scream, woo, and just break the pattern. Do whatever you have to do. I recommend jumping up and screaming. So jump up, scream. Doesn't matter if you're in a cafe, doesn't matter if you're in public, doesn't matter who's around, you jump up and scream, okay? Then, Imagine an old man's shriveled up penis as your penis. <laughs> because when you do this, it's going to break your pattern again. It's going to show your body. Oh my God, my penis is going to turn into this old shriveled penis. You know, it, it's going to be so much, it's going to be so painful for me. I'm going to lose my life energy. I'm going to lose my, my, my power, my strong penis. It's going to be this old man's shriveled penis. So right when you break the pattern, woo, next step, imagine this old you know, shriveled up, you know, prune penis as your penis. And what it's going to do is it's going to train your nervous system to be like, fuck, I don't want to go there. And if, if porn and this habit is going to take me there, I don't want that. Okay. So you've done step number two, you've broken the pattern. Step number three. Now, what you need to do is you have to replace it because it's just, it's 
half the work to break the pattern, you've opened up space, right? You're not in that same habitual loop. So you've opened up the loop, you've opened up space, but now we have to replace it with a healthy and empowering behavior, which I recommend doing something physical right there in that moment. This means go for a sprint, literally just sprint for the next 30 seconds as fast as you can, or do a fire breath, like with your gut like this. Well, snot comes out of my nose, but something like that, something fast with your breath, or do like, you know, 20 push-ups, but something physical to get you in your body, to get some blood moving, to, to, um, you know, to, to replace that with a healthy behavior that changes your state. Because at the end of the day, you watch porn or jerk off because you want to feel pleasure. You want to change how you feel. And exercise can do that. You push yourself for a little exercise there, you're going to feel a little bit more energy. A lot of people think that exercise drains your energy, but it actually increases it. It adds energy to you. Okay, especially a short burst like this, it can be really nice. So that's how you do it. So first step, decide and commit. Make the decision today, right after this video. Don't fucking just click to the next video. Don't go back to watching porn. You know, like you have an opportunity to change and I invite you to make that decision right here, right now. Step number two, break the pattern. Jump up and scream, woo! Imagine an old man's shriveled penis as your own to create pain in your nervous system so you can move away from that. And then the last step, replace that pattern. You've broken the pattern, you have space. Go do 10 push-ups. Go, um, go for a sprint, do you know 50 breaths, but something powerful and intense that changes the way you feel instantly so that you've replaced it. And then um, do that as many times as it takes. You might have to do that you know, five times, 10 times in a day, but it's gonna get easier and easier. And um, I went through this, I use breathing as my pattern replacement. Now I can, I can handle this. And anytime that I feel the urge, I can replace it with a new empowering behavior. And that's what I want for you. So I hope this was valuable. If it was, write down in the comments what you took away, like the video, subscribe if you vibe. And until next time, my friend, live a life that's true to you. Peace.